What's a good internet? My name is Attack Slug, and welcome back to my let's play of WWE 2K18, my career mode lazy Sunday here on the show, but Bray Wyatt has the same thing to say again and again and again. I mean, that's I guess that's kind of true to life with Bray Wyatt, and that he kind of says a whole lot of nothing with a lot of big fancy words, uh, but Lou, Cha, Lou, Cha, Kalisto is here. So I was walking by catering earlier, and I heard Mark Henry talking quite a bit of junk about you to some of the guys. But Mark's been totally nice to me backstage. What happened? Ah, let him talk. He's obviously too scared to say it. Say it to my face. No, he needs to know that he can't do that with you. If I were you, I'd punk him out in front of the entire WWE Universe. Yeah, that's it. Show him what real trash talk sounds like. It's Mark Henry, you guys. Call him out just to talk more trash to him? I don't know. I can just go in the locker room and let him know what an idiot he is. Yeah, you're right. It won't embarrass him the same way, though. I'm just can't give in someone that low the time or effort I'm good. Let's reread that. I'm just can't give in someone that low the time or effort I'm good. I just can't give someone that low, that D timer effort. That's, I guess, what he's trying to say. I guess. Oh, this game. Renee Young, please hold. Dana Brooke. Hey there. I was hoping I'd talk to you eventually. Oh, yeah? What about? I was just thinking that you seem like a guy that likes to have fun. I'm playing this game, so, Dana, you've, uh, mischaracterized me. Haha. -ha. All right. I mean,. I do like to have fun. I've been playing Super Mario Odyssey. It's really good. Good. You know what I think is really fun? Watching Bray Wyatt get beat up. He's always such a jerk. So what do you say, Mr. Fun? Why don't you go attack him? Do you want me to catch a viral infection, Dana Brooke? What is wrong with you? Ah, I get it now. You're quite the clever one, aren't you? Wait a minute. Are you just trying to make me a marked man? I'm not going to fall for it, Dana Brooke. If you have a problem with Bray Wyatt, handle it yourself. Or at the very least, find another schmuck to do it for you. Fine, get it, jeez. You could've just said no. You scheming Dana Brooke. Those, I assume, are all side missions that I can take. But so far, no one has given me one that I actually think I can win in any capacity. Because, you know, Mark Henry, Bray Wyatt uh, are definitely way higher rated than I am. But let's see what the good brother... Luke Gallows has to say. With the pay-per-view coming up, sometimes it's good to have a little extra something special up your sleeve. If you ever need some extra assistance, let me know. I'd be happy to help a fellow winner like a good brother. Well, no side mission from Luke Gallows. What a waste. Renee, Renee, not you, Renee. The universe has been giving you some interesting reactions lately. If you could talk to one of them directly, what would you say? More us together. Get hired and then I care. I can't do it without you. Get on board the grave train. Can you feel it? I'm the chosen one. Management can see it quite obviously in me. So get on board this gravy train and we'll go places. Don't you want to be part of the winning team? All aboard, baby. Woo -hoo. This is a challenging opponent. Who? 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 I don't know who you're talking about, Renee. I already beat Cesaro, so... What? The only reservations I have are at the five-star restaurant. Five-star. The GM I will be dining at after the show to celebrate my victory. Maybe you haven't picked up on it, honey. But I don't worry about anything. I didn't get to where I am in this business by having reservations. I got here by trusting my instincts and making all the right moves. There you have it. Back to you guys. Make a move, make a move, make a million dollar moves. Oh, the authority actually in their office for once. What's good, Steph? How you doing today? My husband, Triple H. Bothering me is not the way to keep your job. Look, so in your office is a bad idea and in the hallway is a bad idea. When is it a good time to discuss the fact that I am clearly a company man doing company things and whatnot? Anyway, anyway, is there anybody in this locker room? Maybe Seamus? Maybe nobody. Alright, well, now we can talk to my favorite person in the world, 
who doesn't understand how pay-per-views work or weekends off work, Todd. Hey, Todd, I, I appreciate the half hour you gave me off last time. Take a look at the match card and let me know when you are ready. Okay, Todd, what does the match card say? What are my options? One-on-one -on -one versus Kalisto, who wanted me to go... Uh, Kalisto trying to get me to go attack Mark Henry because he didn't want to fight me himself, I guess. Um, Big Cass and Carl Anderson, T Titus and Apollo, Big Show and Neville, that's a mismatch. Uh, Mark Henry, Heath Slater, Scott Dawson, Bray Wyatt, Brock Lesnar, and Enzo? What are you doing? Roman Reigns, Luke Gallows, Seth Rollins, Samoa Joe as your main event. It's, that's a pretty good main event. But seriously, Brock Lesnar and Enzo, and also Brock at the start of the show with a uh, promo. Okay, sure. Lou, cha, Lou, cha, Lou, cha, Lou, cha. Anyway, it is Sunday. There are things uh, happening, I guess, in the world of wrestling. You know, rumors and all those kinds of things uh, going on. Not a whole lot today, but it's a lazy Sunday. And quite the storm and quite the rain here in New Jersey. There's, I saw the, I saw your trampoline, Kalisto. The camera guy screwed up. Never show the trampoline. It's supposed to be seamless. Anyway, somebody botched that. Um, apparently they're reconsidering uh, having Brock Lesnar and Finn Balor. Uh, at some point between now and uh, Mania. I don't know why they would have soured on that match. Because uh, that could have been a nice... I mean, obviously, you're going to have Brock win and retain and whatever else. But that would be a nice little boost for Finn Balor fighting Brock Lesnar. Would be. I mean, if you give him the same caliber of match that perhaps you would have with, say, uh, Samoa Joe. Then that could be a good thing for him, Finn Balor. Because it is possible to make guys look good even when they lose. Uh, contrary to, to some folks' belief, that is possible to look good in losing. So, I don't know. I am, Finn Balor seems like another one where you have to wonder what their long-term plans are, if any, and how much of that got sidelined by him getting hurt right after he won the belt uh, last year. So, I don't know. That to me is like, well, Vince changes his mind so often that perhaps he'll change it back. You kind of never know. And also, it's a dirt sheet rumor, so, you know, take everything with those with a giant, giant grain of salt. Because they are right a lot of the time, but they're all also wrong uh, just as much of the time. So, could be anything. But, you know, news is news here on this show, regardless of where it came from, I suppose. Anyway, oh, Kalista with the roll-up. With a major... Reversal, and I'm having a problem here getting... Nope, I want to get out of the ring to, to taunt, and because I got hit with the... Well, whatever. After that five time, five time, five times that it took me to beat Cesaro yesterday, I'm kind of not surprised by anything in this game anymore. Uh, I did... I, my, my stats are up now to 65. So I'm a 65 fighting whatever Kalisto is. I'm sure he's not down in the 60s, uh, even if he is a cruiserweight. Uh, Kalista with the RKO out of nowhere. And then hitting that big old, little old splash. Um, and again, I'm... What the heck? Alright, Kalista, that was a glitch. That was a glitch. This game has issues. It's buggy. What else is new? What else yields a new? Anyway, speaking of new, speaking of news, Kurt Angle, speaking of new, Kurt Angle... Uh, revealed he is working on some new ring gear. Obviously, he didn't wear his ring gear, his singlet, in that shield match at TLC. Um, and that's kind of, you know, everyone's like, wait, where was the classic Kurt Angle stuff? And it wasn't there. Um, which is a shame. So, working on new gear, which you would assume means, hey, more Kurt Angle in the ring doing matches. Now, I've seen a lot of folks say, well, that means that we're going to see Team Kurt versus Team Shane at Ferris series, so they will each be on their, they'll, they'll be, you know, the guy who runs the show, but also the guy on the team. So, rock bottom to Kalisto. And Kalisto reverses it, another major reversal from Kalisto. He is definitely doing really good here on these major reversals. Also, I should have hit triangle there, I was, tr I was trying to roll out, and it kind of didn't do me any favors, so that's... Unfortunate. But no. Sorry, Kalisto. It's not going to be that easy. It was that easy for Cesaro, 
but it ain't gonna be that easy for you. Lu, cha, Lu, cha. He's calling for it. He's calling for it. He hits it. And the pinfall. And that's gonna be a problem for me. But I got out of it. I got out of it. But I still got up. What? Um, yeah, so, Angle as captain and Shane as captain would not surprise me at all for that show. And I really hope they reference, uh, Angle and Shane at King of the Ring with those giant glass panes they broke through and whatnot. Because, uh, that was, you know, one of the most ridiculous and brutal matches in the history, uh, of that stuff. So if that could be a thing, I would appreciate that. Having character continuity always, always a good thing. I always appreciate long-term character continuity. Hit that comeback move. Hit that comeback move square. I didn't want to do that, but that's what we're doing. So I wanted to hit on that slug lock on a Kalisto, hopefully. Or just the Batista bomb. And go for a pinfall. I don't care. That's a kick out. Yup. Um, I know I have a leg finisher. Perhaps I gotta be facing up and not down. I don't know anymore. Here we go. Another bomb. Another bomb. One. Two. A one count for that one. A one. Don't roll over onto your... Just stay there. Just stay there. I know I have it. I know I have it. What the blue hell? Whatever. Whatever, Kalisto. Really? With this? Really? No. Now, you get the old slug stabber. Boom! Slug stabber. All day, all day, all day. So, I'll be curious to see how they handle that bit of beardness um, moving into that show. Uh, but also, apparently that, that invasion angle on Raw was pre-taped, which you could have guessed they pre-taped it. But it was pre-taped, like, before Raw went on the air. So that's kind of interesting. But also, apparently Vince told them, don't work your punches. Just lay it in there, make it stiff. And I'm like, that's kind of messed up. So they wanted to make it look brutal. And I'm like, it didn't look that much more brutal than your average, uh, you know, fight, backstage fight. So... That kind of seems un unnecessary, but if, as we know, Vince is in charge, so what Vince wants, Vince gets. Oh, what was that? Good God. Good. No, do a springboard. Do a springboard. Run. Sp nope, he's not springboarding. He's not springboarding. Screw it. Kalisto, just stay right there. I'm going to hit that five-star slug splash from the tippy tap. From the tippy tap. And then that angle slam on the outside. And then I'm going to pick you up for that attitude adjustment on the outside, Kalisto. That's what you get for trying to make me intimidate Mark Henry. Come on now. Todd seems pretty psyched that I beat Kalisto, even though I'm not actually in the cruiserweight division. Not the best performance, but not your worst either. Just keep on improving out there. Todd, you don't even know how to give somebody a weekend off. I don't want to hear crap from you. Hope you kill it out there tonight. Good luck. I already had a match. Chris, were you, were you watching the show? Were you watching the show? No, probably not. Why does nobody on this show actually watch this show? I'm pretty sure Tazawa has already said this before, so we're just going to skip that and not read it. Feel free to pause the video there to confirm. Dana Brooke, no thank you. Whatever you're doing in the ring is working. Now that you have the talent down, focus on company goals. We all know how important those can be. Talk to HR for a full list of agendas. I don't want to talk to human resources. Human resources is not your friend. They're only there to enforce the company's bottom line. If you are a liability, they will get rid of you. What do we got over here? Some folks who are related to The Rock. Roman and Nia Jax. Oh, and Mark Henry. Hey, Mark. How about that Kalisto, right? And Mark Henry has the same story. Look, I'll let old man Mark Henry be back here telling the same story. That's fine. I have no interest in if, in, in if he is talking crap about me. Roman, however, if Roman wants to be back here talking smack, nope, same, same thing. Then I will take umbrage with Roman at that time. 
Nia Jax, how you feeling? You never know who can be unkind and deceiving. So I'm going to be straight up honest with you. Your moves in the ring are looking very weak. Best believe you better step it up. That's my two cents. Week two of March, heading toward that road to WrestleMania. One would imagine Roman Reigns has not gone anywhere, staying in the exact same spot, with the exact same dialogue. Find a new promo, Roman. Tater tots. Anyway, Titus Brand Worldwide. Can I join Titus Brand? Hey, man. Glad to see you. I like to think that we're two of the very best that WWE has to offer. And so I was thinking that we could have a match. Hoorah, ura, hoorah, hoorah. That could be a lot of fun. I'm a big fan of yours. Well, thanks. I was thinking, though, to up the ante, let's have a great match. A match that the media would give four stars. Yeah, the media. You think you can beat me in a match that good? Beat you in a match that some writers gave four stars? Oh, throwing shade at the melts. Throwing shade at the internet community. Throwing shade at those wrestler reviewers that give matches stars. That's really good. It's a hell of a challenge. I'll give you that. I think I'll take you up on that. We'll put on a show before my win. I like the way you think, but on the one who's going to win. Oorah, oorah, oorah. Get a match rating of four stars. BC, influence, and one a tribute point. I could definitely use those points. You just accepted a side quest. That quest will begin on next week's show. Not this week, next week. Worldwide! Meanwhile, let's have a few more discussions here and then wrap things up for the day. Who else is hanging out backstage? I don't see Dana Brooke. Not here. I mean, it, it, it is appropriate that she be hanging out and catering given how often she is on TV. But, you know. You know. Realism. What's up? I'm looking forward to watching your match at the next pay-per-view. Just remember, though, you're going out there to represent this great company. A win for you will earn respect from not only me, but management as well. But you're a fan favorite, R-Truth. Get crunk, R-Truth. Get crunk. That song was so terrible. They're like, man, everyone loves that What's Up song. Let's have them do another song. And it was Get Crunk, and it was not as good as What's Up. Seth Rollins, or should I say Seth freaking Rollins. Funny, I was just talking about you with a bunch of other superstars in the back. Were there Mark Henry? You don't want me to repeat what they're saying, so I'll paraphrase it as best I can. Watch your back. Thanks, but I already knew that Mark Henry was talking trash about me backstage. I was informed by Kalisto. No, Steph's not happy. Same thing. Like, you would think being a company man, I'd report these things to Steph and say, Hey, they're talking smack about me behind my back. You should know. Help me out. Help me out. Alright. No help for me. Anyway, tomorrow, talking to Todd, and tomorrow, finding out who I'm going to fight, what I'm going to fight, what I'm going to do. I don't know. That's Monday. I'm a tax slug. Thanks for watching. More videos every day. See you next time, right here on this channel. And I'm out.